shaking yeah I'm just still hanging around no we haven't sold the house yet Ugh. I every time we get somebody to come in here and look at the place I cross all of the things you know if it can be crossed it's crossed and we've got a couple of places that we've got on our list that are like right at the top and it's like okay I can work with either one of these one of them's within an hour of Ocean City, Maryland at the beach. And it's still price range. The other one, me with my lousy legs, can walk to the Super Wally. All right, the Super Wally is not the world's bestest store. It's maybe a notch better than, than, than Amazon, but hey. You know, you got to do what you got to do. And being able to even walk to some place that is not the interior of the house, it's a good thing. Anyway, I've thrown a little bit of stuff on my face to kind of even a tone or two out. I'm going to throw a little more stuff at my face just to like pretend like I've got some color and I don't know why I'm not going anywhere it has been snow it's 40 degrees here on the back side of Oregon southeastern back side of Oregon it has been snowing off and on all day snows for like snows like crazy for like 20 minutes and then it stops for about half an hour and then it starts getting dark again because the next line of cloud band is coming through so I figured what the heck let me just throw some stuff at the face see what catches and call it good, you know. I don't even know what I'm what what I'm gonna do here. I'm just throwing. Now I actually used one of my favoriteest things. You see, Elf has these little eyeshadows. It's a little cream eyeshadow, little doe foot in there, and this one is called Nude Linen. And I alternate between using this as an eyeshadow base and just using it as a eyeshadow. <laughs> it's technically just an eyeshadow, but I just have to like mess with. Now there's several colors. There was that one that I just held up, which is the beige, which is on the eyes. And then there's this one. right light here soft beige it's kind of a pinky beige and then there's this one which is get it in the right light let me remind you I took my glasses off so I could do this Okay, this one's cashmere. It's a brown one. And there's one more in here somewhere. I've got four of the little goobers. Can't find it right now. It's hiding in the bottom somewhere. All this trying to have everything together so that once the 
offer comes in on the house that's one we can accept. No, we haven't had any offers yet. Somebody out there decide they want to move over here. Come make me an offer. Uh, anyway. There. Uh, let's see, what am I going to do? Yeah, th this is all stuff that I picked up from Timu. This is the mint macaron. And then there's the fruit punch. I think I paid like, it was either two or three bucks for each one of these pallets. Alright, yeah, that's it. Uh, and then I've got, this one's just called Shadow Palette. I mean, Shadow Palette. Shadow. And it's all browns with a little mustardy yellow and some glitter here and there. Let's see, what am I going to do? I'm going to do something absolutely just dead simple. I know, not everybody is a blue person. But I will put my blue shadow on my blue-eyed self and go on about it just like I think I'm doing something. things is, is if you use those elf cream shadow things for an eyeshadow base don't try to do this yeah the windshield wiper is not going especially if you have seriously mobile mobile lids you know get the old crepey stuff going because you happen to have a little bit of time on your clock See, watch. You try to brush and everything just goes wrinkle. So I'm just kind of dusting over the edge a little bit to kind of blend it out and not make it a seriously printed on line. I'm not even worried about deepening up the outer corner. I want to deepen it up. I'll throw some of that dark chocolate on. The cashmere. Anyway, speaking of tea mood. No, I have not been contacted by Timu. They don't owe me nothing. I ain't gotten no freebies from them. But I do like some of their stuff. I started shopping Timu when everybody got on the bandwagon. Who, me, a follower? Say it ain't so. On some things, yeah, you betcha. Anyway, that's how I ended up with these palettes. A couple of different people on my circle of people I watch have been playing with the Timu palettes and they don't look any worse than any of the others. So, and then there was there's one of the really nice, um, I think it's one of the Korean formula um, yeah I'll get the words out in a minute Korean formula um, found, um, cream foundations 
with in the little compact with the puff and all that stuff and there's several of them that are on Timu they're not cheap they're not way cheaper than you would get somewhere else but they're there and if you don't want to be buying from like you know Amazon's and such and you don't want to be buying from something else that you don't want to have to you know like wait for 11 million weeks to get it Timu is carrying a bunch of stuff there's some stuff that I have seen some of my favorite people to follow that have been testing out the the um, foundations and CC creams and all that stuff and yeah one of the ones that's rather um, popular with Geek Out of Water Miss Shelley is on Timu. It's still going to cost you about 30 bucks because it's one of them fancy you know Korean skincare kind of foundations but you can get it there and yeah you're going to be waiting a week maybe a little longer but it's not going to take you six weeks like it does sometimes with AliExpress and if you buy are spending at least 10 bucks at Timu the shipping's free you don't get all that pile up of shipping like you do with AliExpress that, that sneaks up on you at the end like I said they, I ain't affiliated I ain't got none of that going on they don't know me from Adam's off and I'm just telling you my experience and I'm going to bring up a few other products here in just a minute. Stuff that I have picked up. I'll show you one of them. See that? Fancy little lipstick case thing. That was a couple bucks. Not bad. But stuff I'm really aiming at right this minute is a whole different line of stuff because some of us need it. Don't mind me, I am having a mild gallbladder attack. And it's, it, it's like I've got the burps. LA Colors Dollar Tree Edition. It's just called Burgundy. It's one of the twist ups. Twist ups are easier when you're traveling, you don't have to work. We're trying to remember where you dropped that cotton picking sharpener.
looks almost as expensive as the ones that did. It doesn't have the little, it's got the loop, but it doesn't have the little dangle thing. Do I look like I'm worried about the little dangle thing? I didn't think so. Um, anyway, take this pocket full of browns here. Pick up some of the gold stuff. Just kind of slap it in a couple of places. Just because I want to. with everybody, including myself. Skip a little bit of the yellow. Oh. Dog treat alarm. Dork. <coughs> They've had it. Little yellow in the corner, just for the heck of it. I ain't bothering under the eye much. Let me take this brush, it's got some stuff on it, and kind of sneak up under there. It's got a little bit of both of those colors on there that I used the brush for. Get that done, call it good. Dig around till I find my mascara. I'm not going through all the hassle with the liner and all that other stuff. Like I said, I'm just gonna be sitting here yakking. I am not going anywhere. I still don't have a car. We're trying to, you know, we got to come up with an earnest money deposit and to be able to put a offer on the other house and so I'm watching my P's and Q's on spending anything right now and God knows. You don't want to be spending anything and changing your scores and all that stuff while well, you've got an outstanding offer because, I don't know, sometimes lenders get weird and decide to check one more time. Just as you're getting ready to sit down at the settlement table and go, oh, well, you spent a nickel. Your score dropped by a point. Watch us retract your funding as you sit down at the settlement table. And I've seen them do it. One of the advantages of having been in real estate as a realtor, you get to see some of the messed up stuff that happens. All right. That'll have to do. If it don't do you, too bad. Anyway, the stuff that I'm talking about, and I, this, I got this stuff from Timu. I'm going to tell you about underwear, underwear, underwear. Yes, they have underwear that go right across my broad backside. There is no way I'm fooling anybody that this is not a broad backside. 
I have one or two health issues that make underwear like this very, very, very helpful. Because you see this black panel that running through the gusset? It is a moisture resisting panel. Yes, I know, I'm way too old for it to be some things, but way not too old for it to be some other things. However, they are rated for use with either thing. And let me tell you, as somebody who has on occasion had to wear adult pull-ups <clears throat> because sometimes it's a happening. These things are a godsend. They're lightweight. The fabric in the gusset is not plastic. It's not plastic. Yes, I've got you right up next to the microphone. It's not plastic. It feels a bit like swimsuit material, but it's not that either. Because it doesn't wick the wet. Three pairs for five bucks. Okay? Three pairs for five bucks. I have several pairs now. Several. One of my other health issues is not being able to reach around behind myself and hook my brassiere behind my hand, behind my back the way I used to when I was a kid and I really hate the thing of doing the hook it spin it no not doing it I don't want to do that either it's one of them t-shirt back bras but it's got front hooks and it's not just one level of front hooks. You've got some adjustment here. Got some adjustment here. It's pretty. It's sturdy. It's soft. It's comfortable. It's got that t-shirt back thing going on. I like it a lot. This was two, this was two and a half dollars. This is not the only one. <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm getting rid of some of my older, rattier ones. Now, since I don't walk so good, and since my diabetes is starting to take a toll on my legs, with the circulation issues that goes along with being diabetic. The doctor suggested I return to wearing the support socks, the compression socks. Now, for most of my life of having to wear these things, they had white they had black, they had beige. And then there's Timu. These are compression socks. I kid you not. Compression socks. They're well made, they look good, they feel great, 
the compression is is graduated the way it's supposed to be. There are so many patterns. I am I have nowhere near collecting them all. And since my husband also wears the compression socks, I'm collecting a bunch. Now I did get some basic white and some beige and and some black. And then I started collecting some of these. Cause the basic black and the basic white and the basic beige you can usually get in like a six pack. The largest I've seen any of this type come in is a three pack with three pairs and each pair is a completely different pattern. I mean I've got heartbeat things, I've got um, rainbow ribbons, I've got plain rainbows, I've got these. So yeah, it's not just the rainbow colors. I've got ones that have rainbows images on there. And the three packs like this with all these different colors. And I mean, these have been washed several times. They have been worn several times. And it's like it's still at a point where I have to get Mr. to help me get into them because my hands cannot stretch and hold them out far enough and get to my foot. So he helps. He does the stretching and 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 the opening them up and I lift up the foot and hand it to him. <laughs> but they go on, they fit, and unlike some of the other ones, the ones that are that look like like knee-high hose kind of, those end up rolling the band rolls down pretty often pretty quick. Um these don't. I have to be getting towards the end of the day. And my legs have swollen enough that it's starting to kind of push out a little bit. And it makes that little top edge of the band start to roll. But up until then, they're comfortable. They feel good. They do their job. And for somebody with neuropathy in their feet and can't always tell where their feet are, let me tell you, you can tell when the circulation is being supported by these socks because your feet are warm. I know it 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 defies belief. But I'm not kidding, your feet are warm. At least mine are. Um three pair of those socks are like four or five bucks and if you go after the fancy ones at the pharmacy they're 20 30 bucks a pair and I'm like uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take Timu thank you look I'm talking about this because I know there's other people out there that follow me on occasion that also need this kind of stuff. It has nothing to do with anything else. I know you ain't got no money, or at least no more money than I do. You need the stuff, and here it is. <laughs> At a reasonable price and a reasonable shipping time. So, there you go. Anyway, how y'all doing? What's up? At some point, I need to show you guys some pictures of, uh, kick the desk again. I need to show you guys some pictures of the big dog. Because I have spent most of my life being scared to death of 
big dogs. How we ended up with a big dog, I don't even want to try and think about it. It has been a long, strange trip. But, the, 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 this big dog is so gentle and so sweet that he has convinced me that at least with him and a big as a big dog I'm okay so yeah I have to show you some pictures of when I go to give him hand feed him a treat he has got the absolute gentlest touch with his mouth he barely grazes my finger when he takes the treat out of my hand and he sits politely and waits for me to offer it. And I'm going, wow. My little old girl, she, well, I don't ask her to sit anymore really because it hurts her too much getting, doing the up and the down, the back end, the, the rear end is going out. You know, the rear differential is, is, is kind of falling apart. Um, but she has been known to get so excited about these snacks that she will like just leap and it's like look here girly I can snatch this back faster than you can jump at this point <laughs> so you know don't get all fractious but like I said the big boy he just he is so absolutely gentle that I am very confused. I was injured by Big Dog back when I was a little kid. So, yeah, I have, a, I have an excuse. Or at least a reason. Nothing really excuses anything, but, you know, I have a reason. Um, and he is so pretty. He's part tick hound. So he's got the spots around his neck and down his socks and, but he's got so many mixed up different things in his background, one each large mutt, um, that his back saddle and his head and part of his neck and down his tail where with like a blue tick hound you would normally have you know just dark blue black um, fur patches on the saddle and on the tail and all that and on top of the head and the ears he is a brown and red and black brindle and it, his coat is gorgeous he's so pretty yes i know oh, oh good the other dog's asleep she won't she won't hear me talking so nice about the uh, the new boy on the block oh yeah she's getting getting to be old she's part um part Labrador and part God only knows we're not sure um all we know is that her mother was a medium sized terrier type and Apparently, Daddy was a yellow lab of, of some ilk who was a traveling man and passed through the backyard on his way somewhere and thereby hangs a dog tail. Um, but she, she's got some lab stuff going on. She's got a little terrier stuff going on. There's some stuff in there that's a little bit beagle because when she gets upset, she goes, -boo 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 -boo. and I'm like, oh my God, you sound like a beagle. 
Anyway, she was a sweetheart. Well, she got old and her getting a little crunchy. That my Lala. Miss Lolly is she my angel baby. She's one of one of my other rescues. I've, every animal I've had in over the years has pretty much been a rescue, except for their least little dog that passed away recently. He's the only fancy dog I've ever had. But we were determined to have a dog small enough that Jim could pick him up. Because he was, we got him when Jim had his stroke in 06 and we got Finnegan in 07. Because the other dog that we did have had to be rehomed because she was so strong she almost threw him down on a regular basis. And she made it to, we rehomed her to somebody we knew really well. So we knew, we got reports on her all the time, Miss Piper. They changed her name to Cookie, but she's still Piper. Um, she made it to 16 before she passed away. She went quietly. Anyhow, that's all the news that ain't there. Or the way I used to put it, all the news that's print to fit in our world of alternate facts. Anyway, check out Timo. Go use somebody's code. We got a bunch of people on here that are constantly talking about Timo. They've got codes. Go use their code and have a party. Go check it out. Just be ready for the thing of, they will tell you how many are left in stock. So they kind of tempt you to like get on with it. So, you know, you have to know that going in so that you can arm yourself, gird your loins to, to protect your funds from yourself. Anyway. I'll see you again later. Bye.